In this episode, we're learning about a stunning moth. Brody. All right, buddy. So we're we're going to talk about giant moths, right? And there's two specific types of giant moths in, that can be found in Missouri, right? Do you remember what the, those are? Um, Luna moth and the uh, polythemus moth. Polythemus moth. Okay. So we came out. We're checking on the caterpillars this morning. And what did you find? A dead polythemus it's, moth. It's dead, yeah. right? So we're we're going to talk about whoa. Well, we're gonna talk about these guys, all right? But before we do that, like this is the moth version, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know what the caterpillar looks like, right? No. Yes. Oh yeah, it's the big green one. Several years ago, when you were really small and we first started backyard bugs, we were out at a Three park. Three years ago. Yeah, we were out at a park and you found a caterpillar. That right? was huge. It and was. It, and it's even in the like. The, like the clapping part at the very beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. it is. It, you're, you're talking about the intro video. Um, but polythemus moths, do you remember um, how many um, different types of like uh, bushes and plants that are their host plants that are found in Missouri? Do you remember how many, the number? That tree right there. <laughs> yeah, but do you remember how many? Um, two. No, 20. 20. They have 20 different host plants, right? You said this tree right here. Do you know what kind of tree that is? All right, that's a maple tree. That and then oak tree. And then we have an oak tree. You can kind of see the top of and it over there in the front the yard. Right, spot. right. So they like both the maple and the oak tree, right? So that's one reason why it was around here, uh, or that we find them around our, our house, right? Mm -hmm. So the caterpillars, right? Talk to me through their life cycle. All right. Um. So the, they lay eggs. Mm -hmm. The eggs hatch. The caterpillars crawl up to onto a tree. They eat the leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they use the rest of the leaves to make a cocoon. Mm -hmm. And then the and then the cocoon falls to the ground. And then they come out of the cocoon as a polythemus moth. That's right. And then they fly. Mm -hmm. And they mate. And mm -hmm. the cycle continues. Right. Yes. And now then they. This is the end of this guy's life already and also for other polythemus moth it's the end because it's april no it's august oh august so yeah. so let's talk about that a little bit okay so they they will mate where they fly right in from july to august mm -hmm. right they fly from july to august and then or june to august i mm -hmm. should say and then they drop they mate they drop their eggs right the eggs will hatch mm -hmm in the summer to fall they hatch mm -hmm. the caterpillars eat the leaves and they grow right and then they climb up to the trees you said so that's going to be in the fall they spin their cocoons or they make their chrysalis or whatever you want to call it and then they actually are up in the trees right but when the leaves fall off the trees the cat, the uh, cocoons cocoon. will it, fall. Yeah, because the cocoon is made out of the leaves. So if you're raking your leaves up underneath your trees, there's a chance you could be raking up and tossing out the polythemus moth mm -hmm. cocoons, right? Chrysalises. Yeah, but you, if you rake it up under your tree, they can still hatch and climb back up the That's, tree. Well, the eggs will, yeah. yeah. But the cat, but the butterfly, when it emerges in yeah. the springtime, right? You're getting rid of that. Um, are polythemus moths, are they, is their population increasing or decreasing in Missouri? Incre decreasing. It's decreasing. And what's one of the reasons why um, they think it's decreasing? Do you remember? There's um, an invasive species. A spongy moth. Well, they, they brought in back, you know, hundreds of years ago, they brought in wasps 
specific types of wasps and flies to get rid of this moth that was a pest. That, that wasp and fly also feeds on the polythemus moth. So that invasive species is decimating. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's causing an issue is bright lights at night are distracting the moths. Like the lunar moth. Just like the lunar moth, yeah. So these guys are slowly disappearing. Mm -hmm. And let's, we're gonna talk and about the that. the light basically blocks the smell. Mm -hmm. The smell that they put out. No, it doesn't block the smell. The light just distracts oh. them. Moths are drawn to light, yeah. right? So they go to the light and they stop focusing on what they need to do, and which is mating. Sometimes moths try and go to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk about the second moth, okay? And who found this? Mommy. And where'd she find it at? She, it was... No, come there. here. It was, oh, there's a small tree over there. Uh-huh. And it was by that small tree. So by the small tree. Mm -hmm. So what, let's talk about... In the, in the grass. Let's talk about the luna moths, okay? What do they come from? They come from caterpillars. A caterpillar, called luna caterpillar, right? Mm -hmm. And caterpillars usually have what they call a host plant, right? Mm -hmm. And what is the host plant for the Luna uh, caterpillar? Do you remember? Um, tree, walnut trees. Walnut trees are one, hickory, mm -hmm. and what's the third one? Do you remember? No, walnuts. Wal uh, yeah, it's called like sweet gum, I believe. Yeah, sweet gum. Mm -hmm. So the caterpillars eat the, the leaves and stuff off those plants, right? And then they spin a cocoon and then the moth comes out. Do the moths eat anything? No. No. They don't even have mouth parts. They don't even have a mouth. So mm -hmm. how long, these are very beautiful moths, right? But how long do the moths live? Usually like a week or less mm -hmm. or something yep. like that. A week or less. So they, they live a week or less as a moth and then they die, right? Because they, since they can't feed themselves because they don't have a mouth, and they don't feed themselves with their feet like flies. They actually, when they're a caterpillar, they use food from when they were a caterpillar that are, yeah. that have not gotten like digested yet. So they still use those. So as whatever food. they eat as but a caterpillar they, is what they live off as yeah. an adult. Cause, yep. But they barely have any food as yeah. a moth, which means that's why well, they, don't, they don't live that well. Well, they don't have a mouth, so they yeah. can't eat. All right, so how many broods, right, do they have in a typical year? Um, one. How many broods do they have in a typical Three. year? Three broods, right? So they fly from April to August, right? And then they'll, um, a couple of the caterpillars will overwinter and then they hatch again in, in April, right? So, um, so this guy, it, what month is it right now? It's August, right? So we we caught him, and this is the last month that they are they are will be flying. Okay. Right, um, and they don't live that long, so he probably it's probably the day, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. the week, and then he'll yeah. just then he'll this guy will die. Um, how Unless do the he does turn hey, into a butterfly. yeah? How do they? Um, how do the moths uh, find a mate? Do Do you know? Do you remember? They, like sent out uh, girls do this. Actually. The females, yeah. yeah. They put out a scent, and like then a, the boys yeah. smell it, and then they fly over to the female, and then they mate. They make eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and they turn. Yeah, <laughs> and then the cycle out. repeats, yeah. right? Yeah. So there are um, they they call that the females mm -hmm. emit a pheromone is what they call it, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. the males have a really receptive. They can pick that pheromone up and then track it down to find the female, right? Um, are luna moths common in Missouri? Yes. Okay. Is their population increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Okay, so why would the population of the luna moth be decreasing in, in Missouri? Um, because habitat loss and lights. Habitat loss and lights, right? So they're cutting down the trees, right? And they're specifically they're losing their host plants and lights. Why do you think lights are causing a problem for the luna? What other bug do we know that's in our backyard that lights cause a problem for? Luna moths. <laughs> yeah, well, luna moths. But you, we just did an episode on them last year, and we did an episode on them this year, right? 
What is the bug that needs light in order to find a mate? Moss. No. It's a form of a beetle that you find out flying around our backyard. It lights up. Oh, uh, lightning bugs. Lightning bugs, right? So the, the, the bright lights will cause problems for the Luna moths because it uh, distracts them, disorients them, and they can't mate. So if you want to help the Luna moths, don't put really bright lights in your backyard, right? All right, do you want to let this guy go? Yes. Okay, go ahead and pick him up. I'm probably going to let him go like on Here, the tree or something. Here, let's put this, let's let him go back over where you got, where mommy got him from. Not exactly, we're probably going to well, let close. him go on that sheet. That's fine. Tree. That's fine. You, you'll let him go. Go on. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks here, bud. Come on. Let's go. Oh, you're going to let him go on this tree? Is this where mommy found him? Is this where you found it, Jenny? Okay. Yeah, just try to you gently get it out, okay? Can you gently get it out? Very gently? Mm, if you, just gotta let it climb up. That's fine, you can let it climb up. Why don't you put it down and it'll crawl out? Or you can tip it over. Just tip it oh no, Wait, like it's on coming. the grass. It's coming, it's coming. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Just let, buddy, just let it tip it over so it'll come out onto the grass. There you go. Here, I'll get it. There, there. Now lift it up. Now put your hand. No, 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 don't. don't. Yeah. Can you put it on your hand? Remember, it can't bite you. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, there you go. It's really being active now. There he goes. I never thought Luna moths could get this big, actually. Yeah, Luna moths are big. They're big moths, bud. Like the, what is it again? The polyphemus moths, yeah. the big one. Yep. They're, they're bigger than their caterpillars. What do you want to say to every... like... Yeah. Slightly, barely bigger. What would you like to say to everybody? Thanks for watching. Make everyday adventure. Bye, guys!